Tales. I'm your host, Derek Show. I've got with me Warren Bobro, and I've got with me Ian Andrews. I think just hit me. Uh, uh, what just happened there? And no. Klaus. And, and Klaus. Klaus. Klaus the elder. The, the, the South gnome. The South gnome. The elder Sal. He's old. He's old. He's, he's from old like man. 1800s. He's, he's older than we are. Combined. Combined. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not all of us. Oh, no, I, yeah. uh, 1800s is a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, like, how when in the 1800s? Because. I'm almost 40, you're 40, nope. that's 80 years. Yeah. Tell you, you're over 20. I'm 55. Okay, almost, so we got so, that. Yeah, there you go. Did you say you're over 20? Well, I'm doing the math. Oh, okay. So, I'm like, yeah. I, you're just trying to like To get to the 1800s, that? yeah. Okay, all right. So today we're going to take a look at, me, uh, how do you say it? Maison. Maison. Yeah. Maison. Maison rum. We have three bottles of Maison rum. And we have this cool little giveaway thing, uh, sweet steaks we'll type thing. We'll talk about a couple minutes. Right, we'll talk about that later. Uh, so... You want to bring out some tasting glasses? Oh, we got a whole I'd marching to, order. Yeah. I'd like to start you with probably with the XO. Yeah, yeah. You, I'll let you control what I oh, should be drinking well. because you're the man <laughs> that I knows the. I control the pour. Yes. You, uh -oh. oh wait. Yes, but I doesn't mean I have to drink it. So if you pour too much, you're killing a young <laughs> rum. Okay. Do we want well, some water? Yeah, we, we should have some water because we encourage yeah, responsible here. drinking, yes. and when you encourage responsible drinking, you, you want to make sure you have. A glass of water for every drink that you. Oh, but you're not going to use I mean, it. Anyway. Okay, I know. No, no, no not. We're, we'll no, we're sprinkle just... a little bit over the top if you like. In fact, I would like to do that with the XO. Do it we does, have any? We don't it have does. any water. That's why I asked. Oh. You, do you have a little bit of water under the sink? You can. You can yeah, tap water. You think yeah, tap water. Tap okay. water, absolutely. Get the minerals. So yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, hey, hey, it's it's uh, Hudson. Hudson, 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 New Hampshire's tap finest water. tap water from the from the uh, waste management facility. Or how, who who runs water? Is it waste Penitra. management? Penitra. Waste management doesn't sound no. right though. Because no. it's waste management. It should be the other side. It should be water management. Free waste management. Yeah. So what we have waste. what we have here Better than is waste. the uh, the Maison XO. And what I love about this rum is it gives you an idea of what real Jamaican rum tastes like. Not that nice. all the other Jamaican rums aren't real. But I think what, what this one does is it gives you a, a snapshot into flavors that aren't being produced anymore. And that's that funky flavor of like dunder. Of, you know, and what we say dunder is, you know, there's a whole description of what it is. But it goes back to the original biodynamics where you're taking a product of the earth and you're adding it back into the, uh, the so fermentation process. It's, it's process. almost like a recy it's like we're, it's recycling we're yeast. Hmm. We're, we're, we're regurgitating green. yeast. <laughs> wow. Which is Let's not use that on the market. <laughs> we're drinking yeast regurgitation. You're drinking, you're drinking a, a, really a natural product that yeah. no one is really doing on, on the scale. There's there's a beautiful clearness at the edge. It's there's better than my watermark yeah. glassware. No, right. We should have been polishing these beforehand. I don't know. <laughs> we got the towels back here. Oh, you know, we, the love we love these Glencairn. We love these Glencairn glasses too. Great. Fantastic stuff. But if you, you know, jab your nose in there, you're gonna smell it's that funkiness, that banana China. leaf. Yeah, but it's not agricultural, not agricultural because this is like a, this is molasses yeah. and it's it smells uh, like scotch. Between well, because it's finished off in Scotch whiskey casks. In England, of all places. That's right. Yeah, you so, you, so there's so, very little angel share once it comes up they, to England. So the, the Caribbean. they take these barrels that are used Scotch barrels, which uh, are used... Used whiskey barrels. Used whiskey barrels, because they... I well, mean, there's, bourbon, Scotch there's bourbon. There's bourbon there. too, right? So you get the... so the, I guess you could get a salty, bourbon, yeah. It's just got an aged smoke. smell to it. Yeah, like that. Like yeah. well, okay. But it is aged, peat, because, but, because the rums that are involved in the blend... Are from four to twenty-three years for this batch. Okay. So that's what the. What but the at least I'm is. older than that. And uh, do they, they, they do smaller batches? Is this the one where they do like five thousand? Uh, this one is five thousand bottles. Yes. Yeah. And when they go to the next batch, it will change. Okay. They're working with the caps. They're going to make mm. it a little more high quality looking. Why does he know Smooth. that? Um, why do I know why? I know why you might know, but yeah. why does he know there's five thousand? <laughs> well, but, I mean, you read probably those. read the label. The label. He but, reads but, labels but, and he also, remembers them. But what's also really nice about this that I like to, to focus on is the coloration. There is no coloration. They're not using any of that yes, caramel okay. coloring yeah. that so many other brands do. We will not be naming any names because uh, sometimes I find myself in, in mixed company we with those name brands. A lot of names, actually. Right, I could, but okay. they, you, so he they, just doesn't want to get them no, angry. Yeah, I don't want to get party. anyone angry at me. Nope. But I doubt that your if rum. You're can, I doubt your rum can tell you that they don't chill filter. Mm -hmm. I doubt your rum can tell you that they don't add sugar. I doubt your rum can tell you that they don't add caramel. No, they okay. can't. The most yeah, some of them can't. put a, put caramel color on the label. Most don't mention the sugar. It's so smooth. Right. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of smoke in there. It's, it's, it's really lovely it, Are these all 40 percent? That's not crazy burn. Uh, this like is, this so is 40 percent, like yes. 
<laughs> we were talking uh, recently about you know more of a barrel strength. I'd like to see them do a, a barrel strength, yeah. you know, a, a navy strength. Um, like a would 151 be really nice. would be nice. We were talking about a 151 that yeah. didn't taste like fire. Yeah. Right, this, right. This is so smooth. You, I, I'm guessing they could do that. Yeah, <laughs> no, but I'm like sure if they you, it, those, it doesn't burn at all. When you think of like a lot of people think about it, just people that are viewing are like, oh, 151. Everybody wants to get drunk. No, 151 it's, it's, extracts it's a, flavor. It's a component in in a great craft cocktail. Right. Is 151 mm. good? Thing. Punches, punches, tiki, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you because don't always do shots. You mm -hmm. can. Right? There's always the options, but flame. a lot of, it, they also let you ignite your, your drink. Okay, so we have a little bit of water here, and, and I always love the illustration of adding a drop or two of water, just to kind of brighten it up and... I already drank half Yeah, life. I know, so you get a little bit less. So. <laughs> oh, so we less just put water? Little, just put a little bit of water in, and give it a little bit of swirl, and I always love that you jab see, your like, nose yeah, in. Sugar really, strain. It, it makes it shimmering. Yeah. yeah. It makes it beautiful. Oh. It changes the smell a little mm -hmm. bit. It's not as smoky. It's not quite as acidic. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it, it, you, you have better science words. It. Well, I'm an author, you know, I've written four <laughs> books. <laughs> we gotta make sure we bring out your books. Where are yes. my books? So what happens to the Where books? They're all, they're all oh, they're gone. Right. I think there's... They're, they're under the all spice. Oh, yeah, and there should be the uh, bitters and shrubs somewhere around here. But yeah, I was looking for that one. I'll have to pull it I don't know what happened. Maybe it's in my, you might my have briefcase, back. whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so, but I've I've, writ, I've written four books. These are two of them here. Yep. Uh, Apothecary cocktails was my first. Whiskey cocktails was my second. Bitters and shrubs syrup was the third, and the fourth is remains to be good. seen. Actually, the fourth is called cannabis cocktails. I have. So a, you uh, heard that right? Cannabis cocktails. And we'll, we'll be scheduled for June. Is that the schedule for June? Yes, right. for the published date. Absolutely. You know more about me than I know. About. I know. Like he's learned. <laughs> he's got all this learning. You're great. I, I try to absorb things. So that's <laughs> right. I, there is a picture. Right. There is the picture. I, yeah. I printed it out. That's, that's the cover picture, right? Yeah. There's the cover that's picture it. from we'll, my forthcoming book. We will fourth make book. What cannabis cocktails. What's great about the topic of this book is where the legalization is in so many areas right now. Well, it, and how timely. It's right, the right book at the right time. Exactly, and yeah. I'm the first person to write the book on this topic, remarkably so. And we're going to do an entire video just kind of covering yeah, that. the framework of cannabis right. cocktails. And so. that way, you know, if you're more interested in it, stay tuned because I'll just put them on the right order. So yeah, that's this right. one comes out first. Okay. It makes sense, right? It yeah. does make sense. This will come out on Jim a Monday because he's... You. This is for, yeah, that's true. Confusing it's me. It's a review bad. Monday. Yeah. So let's... Let's oh, take a look at the... What? I just drank the whole thing and we haven't even got the other two. Right. Well, we have some more I, drinking today. That's such a problem. I know. You got so much driving to do tonight. <laughs> okay. We're going to try the uh, Guyana now. Guyana. The, the Guyana. Where's Guyana? Two, it, Guyana is an island in the Caribbean. Uh, this was distilled in 2005. Time. For some reason, some day, around 14 years old, and the uh, it, it seems to resonate with me mm. how old this rum actually is from this period, from this bottling. Um, mm -hmm. I love the Guyana rum because it kind of reminds me of uh, wine from South Africa. It has that sort of green peppery nose, which I enjoy so much. I do. I, when and I, I only think put of... a splash in so we can just kind of let it, you know, I didn't clean out the glasses, so that's going to no, clean out my belly. No, you'll, you'll be fine because yeah. I swapped the glasses when you were looking fresh. <laughs> fresh glasses. What else did you put in it? No, nothing, nothing. <laughs> just, they were brand new. He, he had so many glasses, I moved over Smoke some Smoke and mirrors. And he cleaned the other ones for the next one. There you go. This has oh, so the Guyana crazy. Has a, the, the Guyana has this funky green mm. pepper nose. That's what I smell right off. I smell green peppers like South African wine. I, you know, I, really great South African wine will smell like green peppers. I don't think I've ever had South yeah. African wine. Well, drink the Guyanese <laughs> rum, and it's like drinking South African wine. It's lovely stuff. No, I, it, the, the, the nose doesn't... You're definitely get peppery. Yeah. It doesn't remind me of any other thing. Like other, no other, other like rum, no other a, spirit. It actually reminds me of a Highland Scotch whiskey. Really? Mm -hmm. A little smokiness? A little right, bit yeah, of heather, yeah. a little bit of... A tiny little bit of, of peat, but not the... Yeah. Not the, to the extent of the no, no, you have to like really stick your nose in the massive amount of But oh, it's no. in there. There's a little bit of smoke, a little bit of char. Scotchy. Scotchy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is, a, you know, I suggest that people drink these rums if they're drinking a single malt after a meal. Mm. And if they always reach for their scotch menu as a digestif, I say reach for one of these. It's a green flavor. It's a green. green. It's not yeah. a green peppercorns or green yeah, peppers. Yeah, like green isn't a thing you can eat. Yeah. You don't, I bought some green, please, but it has like... You can like, smell purple, but you... Right, but you can smell green, green. Yeah. but yeah. it really works, green. and it's yeah, really it's, well... It kind of reminds know. me of like a, a vegetation or like a... 
yeah. a field, like the green organic smell you get out of a field. But you it's definitely get the heather now. I've heard. But we can tell you that this is, like. it is from the Diamond Distillery in Guyana, okay. which is a classic, you know, produced rum. It's beautiful stuff. They bake it in what they call a Demerara style. Demerara style? Mm -hmm. Does that mean there's Demerara? It's Demerara brought, sugar. Brought through, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, is it, do they, they take Demerara, I mean, you're taking sugar. But it's a then specific, you have a Demerara, the Demerara phase. You know, yeah. then you have a Muscovado phase, and right. then you have a molasses phase. There's all different things that they extract out, all different levels of sugar. Right. That they it's, yeah, so they're out. just pulling it out. Of, it's kind of crazy, because you can do, when you have that many combinations of one type of sugar, you can do mm -hmm. a lot more things. And so, you, you know, don't, otherwise. so again, this is our natural color, and this is very important to understand that if your rum is, you know, dark black, it probably is not from age. It's right. probably from some sort of coloring agent so this is the natural color and i feel very strongly there's about captains it. around that about i think that. have a darker black color to them that yes. you know i've seen that's some right. captains yes. with some, some some darker colors. absolutely and yeah. that's that's probably caramel so uh so this I like is how just, probably he yeah, knows well, it is 100 yeah but, but, <laughs> but i will say it's probably because i wasn't there when they put it in it, so true. i can't possibly I, say I, that i have plausible that but, no. I, but i love the guyana and i make a mint julep with it instead oh. of using whiskey yeah. i use the guyana and, and i use off? and i use the raw sugar the demerara mm. sugar and yeah. fresh mint and i always slap my mint so wouldn't that in shape <laughs> yeah. slap that mint. i beat yeah, I beat the hell out. You don't slap the mint. You're abusive to your mint. Let's face but, it. If you if you make a, a mint julep yes. with this, didn't yes. you just make a mojito? No. Because <laughs> it's you don't a mint club julep. soda? No, it's a mint julep. What about... Because uh, I use my sterling silver cups. Oh. So it couldn't possibly be a mojito. <laughs> with a copper core sterling yeah, silver cup. I mean, Klaus wouldn't permit it. No, so anyway. Just, just, Mookie wants that's to good, know, thing, good thing you have an overseer there. Yeah. Mookie wants Mook to know if it has an agricole funk. It, it ha actually, but it, it doesn't have an agricole funk. Uh, it has a, well, which one, the Guyana or the Jamaican? You have to wait 10 seconds. I'm guessing he's talking about the Jamaican, but he didn't Okay, say. The, the, the Jamaican does have a funk, but it's not. it couldn't possibly be agricole because it's from molasses as opposed to being from freshly Pure crushed sugar cane. But I understand the point being that agricole can be funky, but not the funk that I'm talking about. The funk I'm talking about comes from the dunder. So it's, it's from the yeast. Unlike um Wait, they have you really well trained. <laughs> I haven't done hey, anything. This beats running up and down the stairs, let me tell you. Well, this this, this, this beats working for a living. Uh, I haven't he, done that well, since two thousand nine. He, he just feeds everything right in. And you, I haven't I, stopped since two thousand two. You know, <laughs> it's not the year of your birth? <laughs> you. You're a young guy. The, the best part is like Have you seen these hands? Yeah, here? I don't think you should yeah. be drinking Ian. When I uh <laughs> When, when I have to do the, like, if, if Ian doesn't make an episode, or what, or a week, and I have to do it myself, it's so much work! I'm like, oh, it's I have to find everything, I gotta shake and you strain. You got a bar back, you, know. you got Yeah, he just sits there and I talk. <laughs> Normally I bartend and bar back, yeah. and so, you vocalize. Well, we're gonna, like vocal, the, the vocalize. Panama is my favorite. It's dark. Distilled in 2006. Yes, dark. Why? Mm. Where it's is aged. it made? It's no. It has nothing to do with age. Hold on. And it doesn't have caramel color. It has nothing to do with age, and it has nothing to Charcoal? do with caramel coloring. No, it has Humanity? nothing to do with that. What it has to do with the copper, ambi the heat of the outside of the of the atmosphere. There's more humidity. There's and that more causes heat. color. It makes the extract. It, oh, it right. pulls it the, 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 the bourbon. They're using used it bourbon. Ages caps. it faster. It ages it faster. There's because of the humidity. Because of the heat, and that's why in in India where they make whiskey mm. and they make brilliant whiskey, it ages I think four times as quickly as it does wow. in Scotland mm. because of the humidity and the temperature and the yeah. you know. The, and if it ages four times in Scotland, that means you can make. A good aged product for half the price half the because price. you don't have to wait so long. Yes, but you also have it. a greater angel share. True, and that's a problem. That's uh, that's a great problem. Can, There's great evaporation. But can't you just dehumidify it back in and no, and, they and don't have the it? technology for that. Can't you give them the technology in, in India? <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's that's just the statement, and I don't have a good response. To it. Yes, well, yeah, <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I'd have to have ask my friend Raj, who's the importer, so I'd have to ask him if. You know, that, well, if you created the environment yeah. where it was less humid and there was less angel share, it wouldn't age as fast either, though. So right, and there would have to be a reclamation. You know, so they process. were saying that why don't they make you know rum yeah. in India and in the Himalayas? Well, there's no way of getting it from point A to point B. There's no infrastructure. There's no logistics. Sherpas. Just doesn't exist. I'm, I'm from America. Logistics. I, I know how to, everything just happens for me. It comes to 
in my no. house. So let's talk about the Panama 2006. I this, love the Panama. It's dessert in a glass. Yeah. No, wait. Say it smells sweet. This is the rum smell that I'm used to. This is this is this is my thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this is where like this is where where Derek likes to play. This is the sandbox. Yeah, this is our tabla rasa, if you it, will. Yeah, this is our blank slate. And I love this because this is the pure this speaks to me about quality hmm. of rum. And there's a there's a couple brands out on the market that espouse to make what they call Cuban style rum, even though they're not Cuban rum. Mm -hmm. And the Cuban style rum remarkably tastes and smells just like the this Panama. has a, a butterscotch, yeah, candy like smell mm -hmm. to it. Definitely candy. I like the butterscotch. Sure. And it's got Thank a you, cocoa. David. I like a little cocoa in the nose. Oh boy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it's really just really well made stuff. And, and, oh. And again, what was that about? See that green bar? Oh yeah. That means a... David donated five dollars to the show. So thank I, you. I, Cheers. And now thank somehow, you, David. whenever yep. David does that, I have to feel the pain of, of a big uh, <laughs> a big hand. Right. And we're gonna meet David in New Orleans because he lives. Uh, oh, yeah, he lives down that way. So when we go to Tails, we're gonna meet up with him. Which is really cool. So this is so I, I love mixing with the Panama. The other two, you know, the XO I love in a snifter. It also mixes a, a really mean drink. I love the Guyana in a snifter as well after a meal. But I it's love kind of mixing with the Panama. Dry this, finish to it. Very dry yeah. finish. Mm. It's like uh, almost a tanniny wine. Mm -hmm. It has yeah. almost that yeah. Spanish yeah. wine. And then finish. the tip yeah. of your tongue just tingles a little bit. I, that just I can't help you with that. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you should go to your doctor right away. You're in my mind. <laughs> well, you, better, you better, you better tend to that. Derek out. My tongue is t tingling four yeah. hours longer, and I've got to go to the doctor. Your pulse Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a so it's a little, little more sweetness yeah. on the on the tongue. Yeah. Front, I find it really incredibly yeah. mixable. I love this mm. in tiki drinks. Yes. This is the uh, this is the millionaire's product. That's not overly expensive. Right. The, <laughs> you bring this out, you're going to impress people. Yeah, you want to impress people. I love the presentation. The bottle's gorgeous. They have mm -hmm. little mini bottles that are shaped the exact same yeah. way. I love that it has enough room for my fingers. For pouring. For yeah. pouring. No, the they pouring work is, with this. is different. Like the, yeah. the, con, client, the fig liqueur, yeah. wicked hard to pour. Oh, I know. The like kind of fig yeah, 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 it's very like, small and, and, and like, it's tough because it's a wide... Yeah. Why the thing I like about these but balls is they're well. unpretentious. Yeah. And they look classic. Right. I well, mean, there's and, nothing, and it, nothing I love fancy the, about them. the little, you know, each of the bottles has a different color <laughs> sticker, quote unquote, sticker on it. Yeah, that on kind of embossed from, it sits off of it. It talks about it, it says uh, single distillery rum maison. They should they should make it. They should they should uh, put a poker on it, yeah. you know, burn it, or let me sign it's each label. Like the doms. Oh, that would be awesome. You would have a great time every single time, every single time, every single time. Yeah, so the, I would um, buy it just to make your arms hurt. Thank you. He's so I, nice, I, isn't he? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> with the donations, of course. With the, yes. So, so the Panama. You know, you're looking for a rum that that most everyone will love. That would yeah. be the Panama. That is definitely the the, the, the more approachable, right? Of the three, because the because the nose, the well, nose, it's, it's sweet. Yeah. The nose yeah. is sweet, but it doesn't finish sweet. It finishes dry, and right. I think that's very important. Right, and, you, and it's got it's got a nice color to it. But this is like when we make uh, any of those those rum based cocktails, like a, even even the daiquiris or anything that that you want to get kind of classy. What are the one like the one we use the Ango store in nineteen nineteen with? Like those. Oh, uh, I don't know if it's I can't remember the name of the the specific cocktails, but so many episodes. <laughs> I know it's only like seven hundred episodes ago. This that has that flavor that would pair with it. Kind of, and it's kind of nutty, Hamilton and it, it just works. It works really, really nicely in, in any sort of handcrafted cocktails yeah. that don't have more than three ingredients. Mm. Where it can really shine is well. A, I don't uh, like cocktails that have more than oh. three ingredients. <laughs> what about bitters? Does that count? Bitters never count. No, okay. bitters okay. are not ingredient. No, so, that's only a finish. So you're talking like liquor, liquor ingredients or yeah, all liquor ingredients. ingredients. Okay. So, so not not, you can have more three liquors than juice. You can have three hundred ingredients. So okay, no, as long as only three liquors. Only three liquors. <laughs> so no long on ice. Sounds like no, no, never. We buried that. Those are tails. No, uh, <laughs> we don't make those anymore. Well, that three mile was pretty good though. The three mile on, yeah, that's pretty good. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't remember why no. it was called that. There was some name. Uh, it had called. the uh, what were the bitters that it had in there? That were really had good. had uh, do you, do you a remember beautiful um, smokiness I'm getting out of this glass right now, and it might be because the glass wasn't well washed, but no, oh. it was oh. well washed. Yes, yes, it. No, it has a beautiful little him. smoky nose to it at the that? finish. I kind of gave him a rinse in a dry, so I didn't really <laughs> soap him up. The uh, I love that. He has great really balance. Nice. Beautiful balance. Bitter's yeah. old man. Bitter's, Bitter's old, old man. man. Yes. Yeah, that's who it was. Yep. Zach, like, 
I can, I've, yeah, Zachary. I've tried so hard to get him to remake his bits. Yeah, he's not making, is he I've, not making I, them? I don't no, think so. I've, I've handed I've him the distiller. I've got a couple with me today. I have them all, too. Yeah. I handed him the distiller. I'm like, here's the distiller in New Hampshire. Uh -huh. I'll box, produce, do whatever right. you want. I'll label him. I think he's a better writer. And yeah, he's like, that's the thing. He likes his job. He likes his job. I was hoping he didn't. That way we could get him back into it. <laughs> Who yeah, likes their job? Come on. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> like my job at all. Yeah. 20 years of working in a bank. Not for me. Time yeah. to do it. I love Sometimes it takes a while to learn. Right? Oh, that's right. crap. So, yes. lastly, just to make sure we make this episode super long, what we're going to do is I'm going to, uh, I've been working with the also craft. Here. What? Oh, craft, craft Spirits craft Exchange. With Craft Spirits Exchange. To the, well, actually, they they came up with the idea. Okay, like, yeah, oh, that's a great idea. I got an idea. Warren's gonna be down there. I'm gonna hand him this. You show it off, and we'll give one away. I'm like, let's do that. I just heard something ring. That was probably me. Oh, no, okay. That wasn't me. <laughs> um, so if you go to drinkc.sx/cocktailtv and you're like, I can't ever do that again. Don't worry. Link below the video. It's in the link below. Um, you can enter for a they chance to win guys. your own craft cocktail yeah. kit. This craft cocktail kit was... I designed it. Yes, it was designed by you. It's the Treasure Island... I have all this there, but there's way too many words. Uh, <laughs> Treasure <laughs> Island... <laughs> Treasure Island something or other. It might have been the other one. Um, anyway, he created this. Treasure Island Refresher. The tre Treasure Island, Island refresher. refresher, yes. It's got the... Bitterman's uh, uh, Tiki Bitters. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I, tiki bitters. I'm gonna go with El Makule Tiki El bitters. El Makule. Uh, it's got a, it's got your jigger. It's got a bottle oh, of huge, huge ginger beer. beer which and is nice great spicy stuff. ginger yeah. beer. I yep. love that. And the uh, were tails last year. They yeah, had, uh, every year. And the Mezzan yeah, XO. Yeah. Okay. I remember just going to the tasting room last year. That's uh -huh. right. So if you would oh, like to win mind. this kit, there's one reserved for you. All I have to do is go to the link below. Fill in your information, and you're in a drawing. I think it goes until like the middle of February. I could put that below too, because I'm really bad with preparing. And then you do that. You put your information in. U.S. residents only. Sad face. Lawyers suck. Um, that's what. Well, not all of them. Yeah. Some. Well, the, just the ones that stand out in front of cars. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and anyone that says this has to be a U.S. Uh, only thing. Actually, I think it has something to do with sweepstakes laws mm -hmm. in the U.S. And there's a lot of stuff around it. So for oh, those that easy. aren't. In the U.S., I apologize. We'll come up with a better contest for you. That's really a lie, just to get through the next segment. Um, but if I could call, <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. I didn't know this was going to happen until the beginning of the week. So there you go. We're done. Yeah. Good uh, job. All right. Pick up your uh, Glen Cairn glasses at AwesomeDrinks.com. Yeah, you can get those there, and you can get these at your where where better fine rum products are sold. Right. Exactly. I, wherever that is, I bet yeah. you in New Jersey. In New Jersey, New York. Uh, Massachusetts, can you get a drink California. Up New York? I'm sorry. Can you get a drink up New York? Uh, I don't know if drink up. Uh, I'm not sure if, if drink up is carrying them. These guys carry them. I'm not sure. Somebody's got to carry this stuff. Google it, or just go to your local. Yeah, liquor store. Contact Niche Imports in Cedar Knolls, New Jersey, and they will tell you exactly that where the rums are there. distributed in the United States. And that will get you to the next leg to getting the stuff in your home. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink. Peace. Real good. Sweet, that rum's good in there. I know. I'm or telling you, you. Sweetens it up nice. The that lime rum is good because already it's not to too. Uh, this will go out on Monday. Perfect. The lime's not too uh, acidic. I like I like limes versus lemons a lot of times just because.